Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I used the part, I messed it up. So I used the meatball thing, let me show you. And my camera, uh, my phone was acting stupid. So I put it all in there, you can see, and you go like this, it kind of worked, y'all. Look, it kind of worked. It's supposed to technically make meatballs. Let me get a bow. It kind of made meatballs. Kind of. Wow. We kind of like got a little bit of meatballs. But the most one that I'm excited to try is what I call the Smasheroni. So, we're going to take, let me see, like this. It says to roll it in a ball. So we're going to roll it in a ball, put it in here, like so. This is going to be fun, y'all. Okay, and it says to push it down. So I'm going to push it down like this. Make sure all edges are pushed down. Let's see if it did it. I probably should have sprayed the inside of this. Oh, yo, I did it. Look at that. A perfect burger. No way. Let me try it again. This is probably going to be a little fatty right here. Well, let me take a little bit off and use that gadget one more time to show you guys how it works. Okay, so we'll take a little bit off of that. Because this burger was going to be extra fat. So, put it in here, like so. And don't worry, I've seasoned everything. I cannot have my food not seasoned. Push it down, like so. Make sure it's all pushed down. Shut up. Let's see. Oh. I'm shook. This one I highly recommend. If you are really nasty about making burgers or you can't make that perfect round burger, this will help you. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get out of here. That's going to be the fun part. The other one came out really easy. Look at that. We're going to throw it in the scope. I can't believe it. Let me get these other boogers out. Okay. Let me get these meat, uh, ghetto meatballs out because they're done. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me show you. Shut the front door. Come here. Look at that. Okay, we're going to try the other thing again. Okay. We're going to try it again. Move this to the side. We're going to try this again. Except we're going to do it in smaller. I think that's probably why it didn't work out so well the first time. They look like little turtlets. But these are going to, oh man, I can't wait. Okay, I can't wait to try it. Okay, we'll do the middle two. There we go, we got it. Now let's see if I can turn, oh guys, sorry. 
Ugh, my hands are a little greasy. So, it says to take it. Alright, Burger, you're going to slide over. Okay. Now, let's see. Round two. Oh, goodness. This one I thought was going to be a lot different. It didn't work as well as I thought it would. But, the other one I recommend. The Smash I definitely recommend, y'all. I'm going to show you. Why? All right, throw that there. Throw that there. Reach in here. Get it Let's flip them. Or, let's flip them. I cannot believe it. I made a circular burger. I've never really been good at making burgers off. Like, I've always wanted to find out, because I've seen videos, I'm like, how do you do that? I think I found my, I think I found the way out, y'all. Let me show you. Look how round they look. Oh my gosh. The Smasheroni, I definitely recommend, y'all. Alright. This is part two. Uh, the, the, the meatball, the so-called meatball thing. I give that, it's neat. So I give that a, maybe a solid three, four. But the hamburgers, is a, 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 the Smasheroni is a 10 for sure. I would definitely be using that. This is a part of my new mini gadget mini series, y'all. Stay tuned for part three. Love y'all. Peace.